Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. I'm Leo and I'm going to show you today how to put together the beautiful beveled star. So we're going to build today the beautiful beveled star box. This is a beautiful box as it's in the name. Um, it has a lovely beveled lid or you can make it with a flat lid. Today I'm going to be showing you the beveled lid because um, I think that's probably the one that you're going to want to see more than the flat one. The flat one you literally just glue it together nice and simple. So I have done some parts ahead of time just because there's a lot of repetitive things going on here. So I'm going to start with the base because as we all know it's all about that base. So I have already, as you can see, I have pre-done some of my base. I'm going to bring in my die set so you can see the dies that I'm using for each section. So for this part, we've got obviously a couple of different size stars. For your base, you're going to want the smaller star and you're going to want two of them. So we are wrapping our um, glue tabs around. So you're going to want a second one to go over the top to uh, cover all your workings and you're also going to need this side piece here and you're going to need six, eight, eight, one, two, three, four, six of those. You're going to need six of those. I can count, honestly. So nice and simple. We're just going to fold along the score lines. Now you'll notice that this glue tab kind of meets into a point here. Be very careful when you're folding this one that you do fold it right the way to the end so you get a nice crisp edge in the center. It's a little bit tricky just because it does get quite fine. And then with this glue tab, you actually want to fold it inwards, not the other way. And then we're gonna do the same with the other one. So I've left two to glue on. I don't want to do all of it ahead of time, but because it is just a question of doing the same thing six times, probably you don't need to see the same thing six times. So, like I said, fold that one inwards and then I'm gonna grab some glue. And like I said, we are wrapping our glue tab. So we're going to put glue on the inside. Make sure you go right into that center point. And the same on this side as well. And then what you're going to do and I find this easiest to hold this in one hand and kind of slide the point of the star onto the little piece. And you should find that it comes right into, I want to say the armpit of the star. It's a really awful way of describing it, but I can't think of another way of putting it. So where the, the two points kind of join here, the armpit of the star, you can laugh, it's fine. And I'm going to grab... <laughs> Again, I'm trying to be so quiet. No. no. So yeah, Karen is my uh, handy cameraman behind the cameras today. So I'm going to press this down. Make sure you press right the way into the point as well. Very important for that one. And what I would recommend is that you keep putting pressure on this, pushing it in to the point so it doesn't kind of bounce off, basically. Make sure that it's firmly pressed in. And then once you've got it in place, we're gonna take this glue tab in the middle. Don't know to see, I've not folded this one yet. Oh dear, I disgraceful. Make sure you've folded that already. Put some glue onto that one. And then just hold that. And you wanna hold this for a while. This is why I don't want you to have to watch all of this in one go. You want to make sure that it's very firmly stuck. And there's the next point note, see? Not firmly stuck. There we go. We're going to be kind to our glue. I'm gonna to have to find some more elevated music again. That's better. Okay, and then on to the next. So this is gonna be the last one going in. So again, glue right the way onto the corners of all of your glue tabs. Right the way into that central point as well. I'm going to hold it, slide the point on. And with this one, you're going to have to just quickly manipulate that tab so it sits inside. And then 
press this down. There's a lot of hand switching going on here because I need to do things the right way around. I need to get a bit more ambidextrous apparently. So pressing all the way along my glue tabs just to make sure they've got good grip all the way. And then I've obviously got two middle glue tabs to do this time since this is our last one. So I'm only going to do them one at a time but I am going to glue up the second one so that it can be getting tacky. And then hopefully it'll grip a little bit quicker for me. I do find this a lot easier to have the box down flat on the surface than picking it up because that helps to keep everything square. Whereas if you're kind of holding it, it's not always in the right way. So just going to give that a good press and make sure my glue has grabbed. And then do the same on the next one. Now the other thing I did do ahead of time, which you can see on here, is I have already stuck on all of my patterned pieces as well. Because this is a flat air box, you can do this. We're not going around any curves or corners. We're not making a bauble this time. So you can stick your pan panels or layers on before you assemble it and it's not going to affect building the final piece. Okay, so that is our base pretty much done. Last thing we need to do is obviously tidy up the bottom. Just cover all of those glue tabs. So I'm going to put glue right the way around the edge, preferably not over the edge. So uh, take your time with this. And try not to put too much glue on because you don't want it to squeeze out of the sides, if at all possible. And then some in the centre as well. Okay, this goes over the top. There we go. And again, I find this easier to do on the surface because I can press it down just like so. I'm going to put this now to one side, let the glue of that part dry, and we should move on to the next part. So, next I have the lid. So, I, like I said, I'm doing the beveled lid, but the first part of the lid is going to be the same if you're doing the beveled or the flat lid. So, this is going to be your flat lid effectively. Um, you would just stick on the pieces and then you would put another um, star over the top again just to hide your glue tabs and then you can decorate your flat lid. So for this one, let me bring this back in. Because this is the lid, we're going with the larger star this time, which on my die set is the one that's down here. But obviously we've moved these dies, so it's very possible that they have changed. Just double check you're using the larger star for the lid, the medium star, if you like, for the base. And then I have the side panels, which are up here as well. The larger star has the metal around the outside of the cut as well. There we go. Thank you very much. I wasn't sure. I should measure, shouldn't I? Let's just uh, reconfirm that. Does this one fit inside there? Yes, it does. So yeah, your large star, as Karen says, has the metal on the outside. And the medium star has the metal on the inside. There you go. That's how you can tell. Or you can just lay them inside each other. Okay. So, as again, I have already done four points. I have two left to go, and I have decorated these as well. Um, so again, the lovely Alison has cut my prep pack for me. She's done good work this week. She has. She's she done has. very good work. Not being here. <laughs> but yes. So, fold along all of your score lines again. Again, making sure that you fold right into the center of that one. And this one again folds the other way. Now you're probably a little bit sick of seeing us. <laughs> I know, I'm very sorry. We've had a lot of filming to do all in one week. And um, I was off on Monday, Alison was in on Monday, and then Alison will be back in on Friday. So we've had to do all this filming with just the two of us. So I'm very sorry. We will get Alison doing something again soon. Maybe she'll just do all of the next three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on her own no we wouldn't do that we wouldn't do that so again last tab bend that one inwards not back and we're going to literally do exactly what we did for the base so glue on the inside of our glue tabs because we're going to be covering this either if you're doing the flat lid you'll be covering it with another star or if you're doing the beveled lid there's going to be so much else going on you're not actually going to see this anyway but I have 
don't know if you can see this, so my first star, um, I've put it right side inwards, so that when you, if you look inside the lid, you've got the, the right side showing, basically. I couldn't think of how I wanted to say that then, could you tell? The words were not working <laughs> at all. So pop that glue tab around. And again, you want to make sure that you press the point down onto the glue tab. Let's see if I can do this the wrong way around this time. So make sure that your um, piece comes right down to the armpit, Ooh. as it is now known. I don't know what else you would call it. What is it? The point where the joins meet, or the points meet. But that sounds really weird. Mm -hmm. It's the armpit. The star armpit. There we go. If you've got a better word, let Name me know. It. Please let her know in the comments. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Let's uh, glue this tag in as well. In exactly the same way. And we just need to hold that for a second while the glue dries. Maybe that should be our podcast name, while the glue dries. That would be a good podcast. All the things that you talk about while you're holding while, while the glue dries. dries. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure we could uh, come up with some crafty topics to discuss. Mm hmm and the good thing about podcasts is it's all audio, so it doesn't matter what we're actually working on. We could still sit and discuss things. And people would be none the wiser. That would be hilarious. Okay, so they just called it an inside angle, the interior angle of a star. Yeah, I'm going with the armpit. Okay. I think that's a... <laughs> don't, be, don't be getting your Google fancy on me over there. <laughs> I thought... There's got to be a name for this part of yeah, the star. it's the armpit. <laughs> it's got six arms and six armpits, okay? <laughs> it's the interior angle. The interior angle of your star, this bit here, where this point meets this point. The armpit. The armpit, yeah. <laughs> or I guess it would actually be technically the point pit. <laughs> but they um, don't have arms. Yeah, they don't technically have arms, do they? But, you know... What would you say for a starfish, though? It's still be an armpit. <laughs> that would have to be an armpit. He definitely has arms, Patrick. He does, because he, like, yeah, he, he gesticulates with his... Points. Yeah. Arms. Arms. Yeah. Your armpit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Change approved. <laughs> no interior angle anymore. No. Science be damned. It's now an armpit. All you physicists and everyone. Would it be physics? It would be physics, wouldn't it, for things like that? Astrology. Different types of stars. Yeah, not those kind of stars. <laughs> Geometry? Yeah. So actually, technically, it's maths. maths. It's not even science. Oh, we don't do math anyway, don't, do we, we don't do maths, absolutely no. not. No, shapes are definitely maths because these are polygons, aren't they? Oh, let's not. Okay, no, that's enough. <laughs> well, 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 well. So, lid part one done. So, like I said, if you are doing a flat lid, at this point, you're going to grab another large star, stick it over the top, and then decorate your heart's content. Let me see if I can grab a flat lidded beauty, like so. So, you can layer up using the smaller stars. You've got lots of patterns that you can go mad. Layer it up. Mm -hmm. Or leave it simple, or you can cut it in, whatever you choose. Obviously, you'd have to cut it in before you reached this point, though. Yes. Right, so the bevel then. We have started. We have two more to go on. So for your beveled lid, what you are going to be needing is, these are your bevels. I keep wanting to say beryl. It's not a beryl, it's definitely a bevel, but it feels like I'm talking about a person at this point. You're also going to need a small star this time, which I have here. And you'll notice, Mammy Ali isn't here, so we've used tape. No, we are actually genuinely telling you to use tape for this. We have tried many different ways to get the bevels to stick. Just trust us, use tape. So I've taped all the way around the edges, and to save time, I've already pulled off 
my red liner off my red liner tape as well. We are going to use glue on the other side of this. Yes, so it's not this like gets. We're just leaving it with tape. If I can briefly demonstrate this, once I have all my bevels, they're going to be on this side. I'm wrapping the glue tabs around here, and then this is going to go on to here. So you're not actually going to see any of the tape. Mm -hmm. It's, and you're going to be gluing this down, so it's all going to be very well secured. Nothing to worry about there. I'm actually looking at this. I need another large star yeah. to cover my glue tabs, don't I? No. Does this not? No, it will. It will cover because by the time you wrap around, you've got. Of that course, extra. the points are longer, aren't they? Yes. Ignore me. Moving on. So I'm going to put this to one side, so I don't mash my elbow into it while we do this part. So. Your beautiful bevels on your beautiful beveled star. Start out flat, they're not going to end up that way. So, score lines, we're going to fold up the centre. And again, I've pre decorated this. It's so much easier to stick them on when you pre it. It is. Them. While it is still flat, you're going to find this a lot easier to glue all of these on. Then, glue tab this one. So, you've got your shorter sides that only has one glue tab, your longer sides have two. So your longer glue tabs are going to fold under and again make sure you get it right to that point because that's going to be the point on the outside of your star so you're going to want that to be nice and crisp so I've got a nice sharp point there and then the short glue tab we're folding that one up like so. So I've already glued four of them together and all we're going to do for that is to put glue on the short glue tab and again, you're going to want to make sure you go right to the edges on this. Definitely not a time to be scrimping on glue. And it's going to go under its friend and join them together. So very important for this one. Like, I wouldn't worry so much about the centre. You are likely going to end up with a hole in the centre or things not entirely meeting. doesn't matter how carefully you glue this, that's just going to happen. Try and make sure that all of these points in the armpits are nice and crisp because those are going to be the parts that you see we actually have very specifically in the set a small star that's going to cover this hole in the middle or you can put all of your lovely decorations on here if you're using flowers if you're cutting some of the foliage pieces you can put something over the top or you might just be a lot better than us and get it to be really crisp i just don't think there's a way of getting that crisp you're, you're trying to get six points to meet mm -hmm. you've got six widths of card yep. trying to all meet together at one point so there's going to be a little gap there there is going to be a gap there's a way so of yeah please it. don't beat yourself up if you end up with a hole in the center we've all done it try and get these edges to meet into a nice sharp point because that's the bit that you're going to see. So what I have done on this one, I still have my glue tab pointing down just so that I can get this one in and then I can fold this one up. It was on purpose, honest, it wasn't just that I folded it the wrong way to start off with. So glue onto this tab. And again, we're going to tuck this one in. Now it is going to look like you've got too many pieces and it doesn't actually fit. But once we start putting this around the lid piece you're going to start shaping your bevels and then everything will just suddenly meet because i remember when i first tested this i thought well surely that, that's my star with five i don't need another one how am i meant to fit that in there it's going all wonky and weird it's part of the process is but all i'm going to say if you wanted to put this flat onto a card so Ooh. have the bevels you could make that into a five-pointed star as well onto the front of a card, couldn't you? Yep, you could. Oh, Obviously, you wouldn't be able to use the star no, to back it. Not. No, what I mean is you'd have to put that onto the card. Yeah, you just have itself. to put that flat down. But yeah, yeah, you could definitely do a five. A five-a-gun. A five-a-gun. Five five <laughs> it's not even a gun, is it? It's a star, but you know. No, it is. It's a, it's a polygon. But that's not a fiver gun. It's not a fiver gun. No. no, no, that's no. a pentagon. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Maths. Anyway, moving on. So I'm going to pop my last glue tab in. I'm going to do this from the underside this time. Fold it over. In fact, no. Glue first, then fold. And this is where it's going to look like this doesn't fit. And like it's all a bit wonky. And you're sure we've made a mistake and we don't know what we're talking about. 
which is what I thought when I first put one of these together. I was like, how on earth? How? I, like, look at it. How on earth is this now going to make a nice lid? But it does. Um, I think I remember stopping at the far you first of all going, surely this is... Yeah, this is, this is what I need, right? Yeah. Just, just the five. Okay. So what I would make sure that you do, obviously have a look at your score line. You're probably not going to be able to see it on camera here, but make sure that you are gluing up to the score line that you don't have any large gaps. If you need to wiggle it around, this is why we do recommend wet glue, because you've got that time to wiggle everything where it needs to go. So, see, it just, it just looks like it doesn't work, but it will. Okay, here we go. I'm using tape. I don't like using tape no, for a lot of reasons. I don't like the instant grabness mm -hmm. in general. In some cases it's useful, but when you're trying to do something like this... And, to be fair, you've taken all of them off as well. Well, for speed more than anything. <laughs> so, I'm going to start in an armpit because that is a... Don't start on a point because you'll find they actually go slightly over. Yes. Start in... An armpit or yeah. a what is it called? Uh, an interior angle. An interior, no, it's an armpit, yeah. Your, your interior angle. And it, the reason we use the smaller star for this, even though we're layering it onto the larger star, is because it's going to seem like it doesn't fit here, but by the time you, you've got all of the widths of card and, mm -hmm. and things like that and it just fits better it does. we did it with both and, and this was the best outcome because you actually want this to be hidden mm -hmm. within the points and if you use the larger star it would slightly come out of the edge yeah. which you definitely don't want mm -hmm. so first armpit is in and you can see that i've pushed it right down into there to make sure that it meets perfectly and i'm going to continue doing that so pull the next one in and the reason that we love tape for this is because it does Instagram. So I'm not pushing it all the way onto the edge. I'm just making sure I've got that bit done where I can pinch it and then moving on to the next one. And I will go and press them all down in a second. You could always get your creaser into that I can point do that. Look at you with the smart that. ideas today. Careful. That's like two or three smart ideas today. Really? Wow. Definitely hit your quota. Yeah. I'll just go under the desk then. That's it. Have a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Recharge for the next one. So, on to the next. So, it does get a little bit more tricky as you start closing this up. Because uh, you can't get inside as easily. So, just make sure you get that right into the interior angle mm -hmm. before <laughs> you press your glue tabs in. And then you can go in, hold your precision creaser inside, so it gives you something to push against, basically. Yeah, that's all we need, don't we? We just need something to, to put that pressure against. And then again, I'm going to pull that in, pinch that bit, pinch that bit. I'm running out of time so I can do this, though. Mm -hmm. We're going to be closing it up very soon. Okay, next one. Oh, it's starting to come together. There we go. So again, making sure it's right in the armpit. Tuck it right in there. There we go. And now that it's actually started to form, I can actually push against the bevels. Yeah. Because it is now ah, an actual star. See, trust the process. It doesn't look right to start off with, but it comes right in the end. Okay. I think it's just that they have so much depth don't they? And they don't want to be pushed in that direction. No, no they do not. Okay, last points down and there is my bevel top. So then at this point we're going to take the flat lid. We are going to put glue. If you need to like reshape any of your points now is the time to do it. If you need to pull them in a bit, make sure they've grabbed. Do that. So glue all the way along these parts, especially important on the glue tabs because you want to make sure they are well bonded because we've only got tape underneath them exactly that we don't like to rely on just the sticky power of tape no we do not 
it has done us uh, a magical service here mm -hmm. in instantly grabbing all of these like you can imagine how this would be if we had to sit and wait for the glue to dry and hold each of these points and because it of the it's impossible towards the end yeah. and because the amount of pressure that you're putting onto it because you're pulling you know you're literally pulling the cardstock to make it stay in the shape trying to hold glue long enough for it to stick like that you would be holding each point for a good five ten minutes mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that we decided against that <laughs> yes so take this one opportunity where we tell you to use tape and enjoy it okay plenty of glue let's get this on so lining it up with the points we've already got mm -hmm. Yeah, the opposites. I, I found it good to hold the opposites, I think. That's it. Because I, it does still want to try and wobble a little bit. I'd forgotten I'd even tested this. <laughs> I think we all did at one point. <laughs> yeah, until you started making it. I thought, hmm, I remember that. It's one of those ones that it went through many iterations, mm -hmm. as you can imagine with a shape this complicated. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we've all tested at least one laser of part of it and quite often if one of us isn't quite sure about something we'll be like can you test it as well mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do I'm going to push from the inside now just to make sure I've really got a good bond I don't want it just on the points I want it as much as possible across the entire base and across all of my glue tabs so just go in push from the underside it's so impressive though it is that you can get all of that depth mm -hmm. just from cardstock. So here is where my little tag and my little star are going to come in. I'm going to put these on the middle. So I'm going to put my tag on first. Now we're going to pray for me that this is going to stick. Because probably I would normally hot glue this. Mm -hmm. But we seem to be lacking in the hot glue department down here at the moment. Probably I should have taped this. Yeah. No. Never mind. We're just going to sit for a second, uh, elevate music, talk about star armpits a little bit more. Could do. Interior angles. <laughs> Interior <laughs> angles. I'm never going to forget that. Now, you know when you've talked about something so many times and it then becomes burned into your brain. Okay. I have put a lot of glue on there, probably more than I normally would, but this doesn't sit flat. There we go. So that covers up... Any sins that might have been happening on the top there. Get my lid on. There we go. And the last thing I have, I have one of the hanger pieces. And Mammy Ali's even shaped this for me. I didn't have to do this. You did it, did you? Oh, thank you. They're so good to me. They make me make it, but they cut all the pieces for me. Isn't that nice? So if you want to hang your star, you can use your hanger piece. Now you do also have a couple of closure options as well. Let me just shimmy this to one side. We have this teeny tiny little die just up here. Now this is going to give you a ribbon closure. I'm going to grab in this one because I've already undone this one. So it's nice and easy for me to show this. You're going to cut two of these. You're going to tuck one into the base. Oh, she says it's going to be easy to show. And now I can't grab this stuff. What on earth? Raffia. There it is. Okay. So you're going to tuck one onto the base. One goes inside the lid. And then when they come together, they meet. And you can obviously just pop ribbon or twine or string or whatever you want to put through there. So you can do them on opposite points, which is what Sue has done here. Um, and that's going to hold your gift box closed really nicely. The other option, of course which we love, is magnets. Which one have magnets? Uh, this, this one. So in this one, we have some magnets that we have hidden. When I say we, I mean Vicky. So two magnets just hidden inside here. You could also hide them. You can put another panel over the top. Yes. Yeah. yeah, to hide them. And then I have them in the lid as well, so you can see them in there. And then that is going to hold that box closed. So when you hang it, it stays closed beautifully like that. So you have two options, whichever one you feel is going to work best for your stay. Project, go with that. I'm just going to put my hanging tab on and pray. That's uh, the option that I've gone for. 
we didn't put any magnets in. No, we didn't. We forgot about that. We did forget. But you could also use, the, those circles are big enough on that hanging tab that you can just snip those off and pop them over the top of the yes, magnets you could if you those, wanted to. Use those to hide. Yeah. That way. Okay. And this literally just sticks. Now you could hide it under your pattern yeah. panels if you wanted to. I probably would do that. I mean, I've only got a single layered pattern panel, so let me take the lid off so I can actually pinch this properly. I've only got a single layer pattern panel, so it wouldn't even have worked for me. But you could, if you are double layering your pattern, put this on first. That gives you a very definite top, obviously, mm -hmm. so bear in mind when you're decorating where that is. You can just glue that on and then you can use that to hang the box. Obviously, I'm not going to do it just yet because my glue is still wet. But there is my finished, beautiful, beveled star gift box. So hopefully that has given you some nice quick instructions on how to put this together. Of course, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. I will happily come along and answer them. And if I don't know, I'm pretty sure Karen or Alison will, and they will answer them on my behalf. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you all again very soon. Happy crafting. Thank you.